Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the club call. Unfortunately, though, we can't actually take calls tonight because there's only me and Ned here, and he can't do two things at once. He can't be stupid and amazingly genius at once. Yeah, it's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. So you're gonna have to just be one of those things. Um, genius. Genius. What are you looking at? Just making sure the sound's on. Well, check the, side, the it's sound. On, it's on. It's on. There you go. There you go. What else are you up to? Just chilling. Just chilling. Having a nice day, basking in. <laughs> what are you basking in? Um, the pre-FA fine that probably hit my way. <laughs> Everyone seems to be getting fined by the FA recently. I don't know why. Fine for throwing things at walls. Yeah, but I mean, you do understand the, that the he's been obviously he was obviously always going to get fined for picking up a a smoke bomb and throwing it. He was doing the stewards a favour, was he? Though I mean, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'll I'm get just, it, lads. It was it was it's an iconic image, but it was also slightly stupid as well, wasn't it? Let's be honest. It's a, it's a, it is an iconic image, but it looks it's a bit stupid. Set the fine and, and yeah. we'll, um, take the fine. I mean. Everton could stick that image on t-shirts like Toffee TV have that are available right now. Yeah, and the title of the t-shirt could be Richarlison Cleaning Goodison. Do you think that would sell? Um, that would sell. The t-shirt would sell. Well, of course, he's got till um, the first week in June to, to explain himself and, and he did that quite instantly by putting a tweet out of him throwing said smoke bomb. Also, when are the FA going to understand... The difference between a smoke bomb and a flare. Yeah, that's true. Smoke bomb is fairly different to yeah. A one flare. is one is smoke, and one one has one has a flame. Now I, I know that uh, the smoke bombs can cause um, can cause your clothes to go on fire because mine did, and also I've got a burn on my arm. But it's not a flare has a naked flame, doesn't it? It has a naked flame. So there you go. So. We'll wait and see what happens. I'm sure he'll get a slap on the wrist, a bit of a fine, um, and we'll move on from. Yeah, it. I suppose we'll see. But isn't it that post just the post that come out after the fine came out? You mm-hmm. saw how much for like an Evertonian he is. He's so, he's bitter. He hates everyone. Is he but, bitter? But, um, what makes somebody bitter? In a way that he hates everyone but Everton. Yeah, but does that make you bitter? And he's like throws it in them face. That just means he loves Everton. Yeah. Doesn't mean he's bitter. Yeah. Do it like every other Evertonium. Mm, okay. It's nice to see. Okay. Uh, Andy Bud says, getting to the point where I'm thinking, FA are going to find me for running on the pitch <laughs> after the Palace game. <laughs> oh, Andy. Uh, yeah, our new t-shirts are available now. Um, if you go on our yes. socials, uh, we have a new Richarlison t-shirt. We have a new Dixie Dean t-shirt. We have a new Holy Trinity t-shirt. They are available right now for you to purchase for your summer holidays. I mean, if we got them out quicker, we could have got them out for your Jubilee celebrations, because I know everyone out there will be celebrating the Jubilee, like really? it's 1999. Mm. Um, By the way, patrons, don't forget, if you're going to order one, you get a discount. Ask for your discount code. Yeah. Don't just order and go, I want discount. Yeah. It's one of the many, many benefits of being on Patreon. There is, is me- there is many, many there benefits. Many, there are many, many benefits of being on Patreon. One of them is your discount code that you get before you buy merchandise. You know, because listen, listen every little helps. Every little helps. In every these, little he- every little does help. And that's, in these day and that's ages. right. And that's the type and that's of why people I'm, we are. That's why I'm straight after here, I'm driving down to Costco to buy my fuel of v- using my mum's Costco card because every little bit does help with the price of fuel in this country at the moment and the price oh. of everything. Oh, gosh, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Like you know what? God, save, God save the Queen. That's what I says. Yeah, as, as long as as long as she's being lauded. Yeah, don't no, worry, don't, listen, worry, don't worry about listen, our, our energy. Bills. As long as the Queen is doing all right out of life, then what else is there to worry about? Yeah, there's nothing to worry we about. We don't need central heating systems. Well, you, you probably don't in June. But you know what? The way the climate. What, what I do want is a, is a holiday. But you know, got you going to... on holiday? Not, I'm speaking for the whole of the country. Okay. Everyone would like an holiday. Some people just can't afford it. No, you can help people eating. afford holidays. Tips. Tipping them. 
Yeah. Just saying. Just saying. That's for all you non-tippers out there. Oh, yes. <laughs> for all you non-tippers out there. Hey, little newspaper boy. I got a nice tip for you in my pocket. But my arthritis. Why won't you go reach it out for yourself? Mmm. Mmm. Peter Finn says, what statue would you most like to throw eggs at? Mine right now is Margaret Thatcher. Yeah, still the Thatcher am- one. Still amazes me, but some people thought she did a good job. Every every time her name is said, it should be a law to play music. D- ding dong, the witch is dead. I can't dead. really think of any other statues no. out there that are like terribly, terribly bad as as Thatcher. I mean, there are, don't get me wrong, there are terrible statues out there of people that we are now just sort of realising are we're terrible oh, human yeah. beings. Absolutely. Like slave owners and people like that. But She's a very modern, modern, terrible human being. She was a terrible human being. A, 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 a terrible, terrible human being. And just a general, all-round, awful human being. We're, and we part... You know what they like to say about like people when they die? No, no. When she died, it was boss. Hmm. It was boss. There's quite a few people alive now that will it'll be boss when they die i won't say that i don't want to i don't want to offend anyone or get myself into trouble but there are also people out there right now and um, that if they drop dead it would also be amazing one of them just one of them owns a fairly large national newspaper in this country the world would be such a better place if he wasn't here like if he fell off a boat like his mate did well it wasn't strictly his mate but there are, and she was one of them. She was. A t- you won't know that because you don't know history. Fell off a boat. Yeah, fell off a boat. Gosh. Ouch. And his and his daughter. I'll give you a good clue. His daughter was in jail for doing stuff on an island. Epstein. Epstein's already dead. <sighs> I'd never be. I'd, I'd never think it would be amazing for someone to die, but like someone like Thatcher, yeah, so, such a hateful person did die. I'd yeah. be like, so oh well. I, unless flat, if it, I'm not gonna say his name because he'll probably you know come after me. <laughs> come after but the channel. Someone who who likes to yeah, invade yeah. certain places. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If if that process yeah, would yeah. would speed up, then that may benefit other yeah, yeah. countries. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. As I say, so yeah, I can't Please really think of. Me, I wouldn't. Wouldn't go as far. I wouldn't egg ever egg like a f- any football person statue because that's not right. But um, yeah, Thatcher, Thatcher, Thatcher. She's really just detested the working class, didn't she? Yeah. A lot of the country's working exactly. class. Put it this way: she loved, she loved Jimmy Savile. I know. She loved yeah. Jimmy Savile. Best friends. So there you go. You watched that documentary, by the way. Yes. It's sick, isn't it? Like yeah. sickening, not sick as in great. Um, Gareth Hughes says sounds crazy I don't think these FA fans will help our case with Richie contemplating his future he gets a raw deal from refs as it is and now FA he may just want to leave get think, away from the blatant I don't bias think of that FA would really, I don't think that would come into his thinking whatsoever yeah I club, really don't club will look after him I really don't Barry says afternoon fellas just a little something that's caught my eye with all those concept kits flying about mm. is there a reason you changed the kits about on the wall behind you is there something you know we don't no, we uh, just got rid of the other yeah. kits because they're last seasons. They yeah. don't really have anything nice about them. They're sponsored by a sponsor that doesn't really sponsor us anymore. And we thought, I thought we'd put up some nice new, new, new ones. Well, old ones, but just some retro ones. Who do, you, who do you think of when you look at this? Howard Kendall. Howard Kendall. Mm-hmm. I was going to say like Andy King. Well, I was going to say Howard Kendall. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think my dad's got that one. Um, yep. Jake, yep, Jake, that's not that old. I know, but J- Jake Thompson says, "All right, lads, hope you're well. Love the FIFA match between Ned and Page. When's the next one out, lads? It'll be out very, very soon. Yeah, it's we- superb. Ned played Page in a game of FIFA. Um, first episode's on. First Patreon. episode is on Patreon. Pe- Page had a ten nil head start because." That's what Ned said he would he would get back. He said he would beat her. He said he, you can have a 10 nil head start. So go and check out the video to see if he beats her. Who knows? You'll have to watch it. It's only available on Patreon. Oh, gosh. Was that your arm? Yeah. Your arm just crack. Yeah. That's not good, that. You know, you need to, you need to have a look at that. It shouldn't just, shouldn't just crack like that. That's not mm-hmm. horrific. Mm-hmm. Tom says, hello, lads. Would you bring in... and? Uh, 
I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna try and attempt to say that what? name. Would you bring in Ainsley Maitland Niles? Ainsley Maitland, but doesn't he? Isn't he a chef? No, he's a he's a he's a right wing back. Uh, no, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. He was a, he's a he, mm. no, I wouldn't. No, not we don't need him. We need other areas of the pitch. Eugene says Everton star at Charleston post a fine response to FH change. He did. Yes, yeah. he did. It was a fine response. Basic Trig says multitasking is tricky for Ned, like breathing and reading. <laughs> I'm not a great reader. Um, so certainly not allowed. Max says, how did Anthony Gordon not get nominated for Young Player of the Season? Um, or Premier League? Probably because other players played better than him. Mm. Probably. No, he's not so much in the spotlight when, when, he's, when you're... 16th in the table are you but there's, there's players I mean there. he scored like what did he score four he scored, goals he scored f- f- four but one of them was like a deflection well not a deflection two of them were deflections yeah, and of them one of them deflection. came off his toe what I mean is like one was like yeah. his deflection yeah. so uh, yeah I wouldn't I wouldn't have him as young player the year mm. I, for, for the for the Premier League I think he's I think no I don't think to be fair I don't think he was anywhere near it done well for us yeah. did he I don't see I, I see I I thought for him, I'd say he's got in see, this, he's I, I pushed t- himself on this side. I so. just, I tend to think he had a good hard working season, but mm-hmm. I don't, I, I think, I think, I don't think he was amazing. I think people thought he was amazing because nobody else was was mm. doing much, much running around. So um, he needs to improve. He wants to, he wants to be good enough to play for Everton. Mm-hmm. But, but he, no, he's young. Um, he's young. Michael says, "So are we getting a new keeper? Any news?" No, I, I, why? I, I, why? I why did that? So. Why would we be getting a new keeper? P- uh, Pickford's not going anywhere, is he? Richard Dean on patience says, "Hi, lads. Can you confirm the fake coach company prank was actually true? Putting my order in for for a cheese and an S mug t- today. By the way, I, nice. I I don't think I don't think the 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 coach thing was true at all. I think someone just saw an opportunity to um to have a bit of a laugh." By saying that the coach company was it was was it was not was a scam, uh, was a joke and all that, but I I don't think it was at all. I think I think it was just a coach company, and for some reason he didn't pick up those people at uh, at the Rocket, which bad bit bad that to be fair, like eh? you know, no, it, was, it seemed funny, but if it happened to us, it would be um, it would be bad. So yeah, I don't know, I don't know what that was all about. To be honest, it was pretty pretty bad, pretty bad, like. Gareth Hughes says, speaking of tipping last night, I bet bar staff have been hit hard as move as we move more towards a cashless society. Most pubs have not even got the facility to add a tip if you pay contactless, and loads of people, myself included, ca- rarely carry cash. Yeah. No, so it's different, isn't it? Because if you're carrying cash and you've got two twenties and something comes to like seventy quid, you go way out there's two two tens, dead easy or a twenty. Um, especially when you're like, where you got to? Put change nowadays. People have wallets and like, the phone and stuff. If people, what do we wear? My change. Do we wear just pocketless left trousers now? I don't want change bounce around in my pocket, so I say keep the change. But if you want a contact list, you just go just beep and you're done. Surely, surely most places will have to start changing um, the way they do things and and put um, the the tip on 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 the place. If they've got anything about them, they'll do that. Mm. So you can add a tip to you, to the bill. It only has to be a couple of quid. 10%, whatever it is. Wonderlust says, selling both Richie and Dominic Albert lewin would, in my opinion, be pushing our luck. Yeah, it's, you're going to have to mm. probably go big, to, not go big, but like, you know, take as less risk as possible to replace them because they're essentially all your, all your, where well, this your is where, coming from. This is where we've said this before, this is what's really tricky, is that Everton have got to get the ducks in a row very, very quickly. They've got to know who's co- who's going and who's staying. And um, you know where the offers are. If there's offers for them, Everton should put. Everton really should put. Um, should put a you know a, a schedule down for players to come in and uh, players to be sold. If a bid's coming in, it's got to be coming. Got to come in by a certain date. Otherwise, you know they're not going. Depending on whichever they play, they are because we have to get our ducks in a row. We have to be ready. You know, I've seen something before, you know, teams, I've seen a few people getting a little bit worried because teams are already doing business, but they are doing business and we've got to, we've got to be on that quickly, we can't be left behind. Other teams are strengthening that are, uh, who were finished hiding us last season mm-hmm. and 
there's teams, you know, Leeds have already brought a lad in. I know there's a, there's, they're probably going to lose Rafinha, but they, they brought the American lad in. Um, you know, when everyone else is strengthening, and if we're not strengthening, then we're going to be left behind. You know, I know I'm not. It's not panicking, not panic or anything. It's just that we have to have to get our ducks in a row quite quickly, quite quickly. So yeah, we have to get our time right and get stuff done as quickly as possible. And speaking of timing, today's the first of June. The first of the month is always, always the best oh, time the to join time. Patreon. You get the whole month for your money. It's the perfect time to join to join Patreon is the first of the month. If you're thinking of joining Patreon, now is the time. You get your money, you get your th- you put your money in, and you mm. get the month. And this you're year. gonna get a, a you're gonna get something that we've never done before as a as a as a channel. You're gonna get a, a full boss documentary that's we've been working very hard to do over the past a couple season, of weeks. A season review documentary yeah the story of the season the story of 2021-22 will be available very very soon Dexy says hi lads hello Dexy hello Dex um, Otter says Australian fan here I'm going to see Leeds play in a friendly in Perth why does Everton never come here with United Arsenal Leeds and Villa do because we probably don't have a f- too much of a fan base there. Yeah. We probably did when Tim Cahill was there and we came over, but that you know, it's a long way to go. Um, it is a very long way to go if you don't have number one on these tours. These tours are normally paid for by somebody else. The company will pay. You know, Everton will go went to America last year. Someone will have picked up the tab for that this season. Someone will be t- picking up the tab for it. Everton. I've got a, uh, you know, we'll be uh, use these things as a way of, as a way of um, expanding their fan base, tapping into the fan base that's already there, selling merchandise, those kind of things. But most of them are paid tours; they rely on other people. So if no one's come forward to Everton, Everton and offered them a deal to go to Australia, then that's just the way it is. They're not. They're not going to organise these things off their own backs. There's big companies now who organise these these tours. You know, whether they be international games or whether they be uh, fo- you know Premier League teams or wherever. It's all organised. You know, the club doesn't want to put the, its, its own hand in its pocket to travel to America. It wants you know it's like anything else. There, there'll be a, there'll be people, there'll be companies who, who sort this out. The, the people who are the promoter, basically. And they'll take they'll take obviously a lot of money out of it, but that, if that says Everton having to organise all the things to do with it, then that's what they do. Everton just come, Everton just get offered something, and we'll just sign a contract, and that's it. And you know if that that'll be in America this summer, and you know next summer it might be America again, but one day Australia might come calling. But you know the people who are, who 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 are going to pay for it all, which will be very expensive, by the way. Um, have to know that they got, there's enough Everton supporters in Leeds to in Leeds in uh, in Leeds. Australia and Leeds may have a may have a bigger fan base than Everton in Australia. I I don't know. I don't mm. know. So that's that's the top and bottom of it. Well, for a few years, I think we've been well, for many to be honest, we've been poor with with you know the commercial side of the club. So I think commercially for Everton, USA is is very beneficial. We've got affiliation with USA. Um, we've got obviously a huge fan base. So getting into USA and playing there. You know, two years in a row is is good for the club and good for the fans in mm. USA. Craig said, "I'd love to see Everton come over to Dublin." My, my dad says, "Loads of passengers on the way to Etihad to watch Liam Gallagher." Can't mm-hmm. believe they're all going there when Ned Ned lives in Burtonwood. Exactly. You live in Burtonwood. No, Ned Ned's alive in Burtonwood. Who did he write that you live in Burtonwood, or no, did I you just, just say I that? Put the S in the wrong place. <laughs> um, Small letters, small writes, small text. Derek says, "Who is the t- who is the top of your transfer wish list?" Um, at the moment, Tarkowski. Not because I think centre backs at the top, even though it probably is. Um, the fact that he's he's you know the you know the, t- you know, the player he is, and the fact that he's free because it would be so beneficial for. A, our finances and we can spend the money elsewhere. So at the moment, get Tarkowski in very quickly for me. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I just want to get the first one in. I'm, I don't really have a top at the top of the list because I don't know who's, I don't know, I don't know who's coming in. So or who Everton are looking at properly. So for me, if Tarkowski, if you could get Tarkowski done, then that's your centre back done, and I think that would go a long way to helping um, our defensive problems. Uh, and if we can get that right, and then build on that, then that's really important. So I haven't really got a list. So. I just think that if we can get a centre back sorted, then that's a really good start. Degsy says, well, Gary Ward says, how did says, loving the Hafina shirt in the Real Everton Royal Blue? I gather no phone call tonight. Waiting on shirt sponsor, any date, guys? No, no. The kits, I don't think the kit can come out till the 1st of July, so maybe the. Maybe next week. Normally they allow three weeks between the launch of a kit and. Um, on sale dates on sale it's normally yeah. three weeks but I don't know what the situation is with the contract contracts normally last till July but it does depend if it's not on sale if it's not on sale till the first then Everton might be able to do it on the uh, the 8th or something like that around that maybe maybe that's just the way it's normally done it just depends just depends RCL2 says, Ped, when do you think we'll announce our first signing? I'm not naming names, but do you expect it to be a loan or free transfer? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, honestly. I don't know. The club aren't. The cl- there's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing ongoing there's, that I know of. There's nothing happening. The club are. The club are trying to put uh, their plans into action. But as I said, I think a lot of it comes down to. Um, Frank Lampard is away I think Kevin Fellwell is away as well and um, so it might be next week they might this you know might be they might might have just had a week off and next week might they might get stuck and start getting stuck into it I'm sure they're out there negotiating and talking and offering people deals whether it be you know the likes of Connor Cody or Brozier or whoever Um they might be speaking to those representatives right now and, and trying to get trying to get a feel for what, what's going on. Um the same with Tarkowski, he's a he's a free agent, so same with him, but I don't think anything's been put I don't think anything's sort of close. I can imagine next week, you know I know football doesn't really um stop for like bank holidays and stuff, but I imagine next week is when, when, as a club, we might start getting going again. Kiaran says, what about Collins, younger and looks promising? Nathan Collins, Burnley. Uh, we sort of coming through to replace Tarkowski, isn't he? And um, whether they want to let both of them go, I'm, I'm not sure. It looks all right. He's got his first goal I, against I've us, I've seen this he? before, though. I've seen this thing of buying young, hungry players. What we need now is... A, is Everton a wants a centre-back who... Is a he's got experience, can play can play thirty five games a season, can command the back line, which is going to have Patterson and Michalenko in in it, and have another young centre back next to them. I imagine. Don't forget us uh, next season. We could easily have a centre back. We could have three out of four of Patterson, Ben Godfrey, Michalenko. Right, three young players. What we need in our in our sense of defence is an experienced head who's played a lot of games in the Premier League and can command the back four. Look how much better Everton are with Yelly Mina in their back line because he's a he's an organizer, he's a leader, he's an alpha. Michael Keane isn't an alpha. Uh, you know, Mason Hoggy isn't an alpha. We need an absolute alpha. And whether people like it or not, I've seen this thing, oh get this young player, get that. No, no, no. Go and get an experienced head who can play 35 games for the next two to three seasons. Put him in the back line with those younger players. Those younger players will benefit massively from him. Massively. That is the that is the, the that's the sensible thing to do. The sensible thing to do. You know, we've got you, we've got we've got Ben Godfrey's young player, we've got we've got Bamfrey's he's a young player. Mason Hallgate's not that old if we don't sell him. He's only 25. There's a good mix there. Where did he keep Michael Keane? I don't know. Where did he keep Yeni Mina? I don't know. But for me, go and get that experienced centre-back. 
that can bring it all together. Because I guarantee it, Ben Godfrey will be a better centre back because of it. Mason Holgate will be a better centre back because of it. Jared Brantwood will be a better centre back. The full backs will be better. You know, even if we got we might play three at the back next season. But you need that number one, that organiser, that alpha to, to be on your back line. And I think so yeah, it's dead tempting to say, Oh yeah, we want this. They they come with their own issues, they come with Everton for the next couple of years have got to be solid. I've got to get through this tough issue where we are now with the finances, with the, the P&L. You know, that's where Everton have got, that's what Everton have got to do in the next couple of years, get through this sticky moment. And if we get through it and then we go into the new ground, money will be no issue, I don't think, after that. But it's going to be tight for the next couple of years. And that means just not don't do anything stupid. Don't do anything. If you want to bring a young lad in, bring the young kid in, the Chelsea centre-back. Call Will. Bring him in. But that's taking up a loan spot, mm-hmm. isn't it? So, and you might want to use those loan spots for elsewhere. You know, whether you want to bring a Brozier in or on a Cor- Conor Gallagher or whoever, if you're going to try and get those kind of players. So, I, I I don't go with that at all. I think we need a little bit of experience at the back who's, who, you know, I, 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 I think of Johnny Evans when he went to Leicester. He was brilliant. He's mm-hmm. been brilliant for them. Two, two to three years and then start, f- you know, after two years, you start phasing them out and you bring in the next one. That's the way it's got to be done. So for me, that's what I'd be looking at. Our show too says we've also reported had a bid rejected for uh, Lewis Potter, which came from le- which came from left field. Surely we can do better than him. If we and if we have twenty million to spend, surely we could spend it on a more key areas. We already have Richie Gray and Gordon who would play left wing best. He's all right, Keen Lewis Potter. He, I think he was, I think he finished whole top scorer. He certainly was when we played him. Um, he's just like he's, he's young. He's not like he's not rapid. He's he's quite small, but it, but he looks promising. So it, it wouldn't be for me. I don't think the club would be looking at him. Certainly not for twenty plus million. Uh, yeah, Grant Ferguson says Ned say Bordeaux. Is it Bordeaux or Bordeaux? How do you pronounce Bord Bordeaux? Is it Bordeaux? Bordeaux. It's Bordeaux. If you Bordeaux. don't if you don't tip. So it's so it's Bordeaux. Well, if you don't tip, it's Bordeaux. Well, it's Bordeaux. Bordeaux. Uh, De- Dexy says, Hi, guys. I can't help with an, with Australian thing. In Perth, where my brother lives, each weekend an outdoor club or event for Merseyside people with almost ten to 15,000 attend, as Perth is the capital of Merseyside in in Australia. Support is dominant for blue. For some reason, maybe people got fed up and ran away. Um, if you were in Australia, right... Can you point out to me on the map where Perth is? So Australia is like here. <laughs> it's so Australia is there. Yeah. Is it somewhere along here? I can't see what you're doing because you're just going like that. See, this is the map. Yeah. And you're looking here. Yeah. Australia is here. Yeah. So this is Australia. Yeah. Is it down here? No. Where is Perth? <laughs> is it on the... It's on the east coast. Oh my god! It's just you and your. F- oh. <laughs> oh my god! No, it's not. Um, no, listen. As I said, Degs, I know there's loads of scouts in Perth, Liverpool, and Everton. Um, it's like the first. It's like the first place they arrive off the boat, isn't it? Um, they don't, they don't go by boat, really, Ned. Um, boat. I know there's. I think you know the west coast is a. Uh, the east coast, sorry, is a little bit more. Expensive than, and maybe that's what it is. But I knew it was on the coast. The other side is Sydney, isn't it? Yeah. What's in the middle of Australia? The outback. Yeah. That's what, where all what, the lizards live. What famous place? What's name is town? In the middle of Australia. Yeah. It's got a woman's name, and a and a uh, something you'd have on a on a car. Sp- Alice. Alice, Alice Coyle. Uh, uh, Alice Carberetta. That's not true. <laughs> it's Alice. It's Alice. Alice Spring. Yeah. Is that in the middle. Yeah. Wow. Where's I'm a Celebrity filmed? Wales. Oh, I, I meant the Australian one. Even when it's in Australia, it's really in Wales. It's in Will. 
Some like sense. I know it is now. Gareth Hughes says, in case Bobby gets his way with a free for all Wednesday, I will throw a quick footy quiz in. <laughs> Which Spanish club's nickname, Los Culturanos, which translates to English as the mattress makers? Um, uh, Bill Bow. Just a guess. Do you know? Go on, question two. Who is the only player to win the Champions League with three different clubs and which three clubs? Right, hang on. Um, let me think. You're not getting this. You're just not getting it. Give me a clue. No. Is it the Champions League or Europe or Champions European League. Champ- right, Champions yeah. League? So you're just not getting it. You're not getting it. I think I might. You're not getting it. I think I go might. Go on then. Go on. Thiago Silva. No. No. Zlatan Ibrahimovic Clarence, Clarence Seedorf oh, Ajax Real Madrid yeah. and AC Milan I was thinking AC Milan and Chelsea for Thiago Silva but he didn't win at PSG did he oh. uh, three only three German clubs have won the European Cup slash Champions League can you name them Bayern Munich mm-hmm. Dortmund Wolfsburg. No, it is Dortmund. Oh, is it? Hamburg and Dortmund. And Hamburg. Uh, four. I have played for Everton and spent time playing in Turkey. Have you, guys? Bloody hell. I've won the Africa Cup off Nations twice. Who am I? Uh, two. Samuel Eto'o. Nice. Five. Denmark notably won Euro 92, despite the fact that they, they, they did not initially qualify. Which team did they replace? Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia. Why did they replace Yugoslavia? Did Yugoslavia go to war? Yeah, the Civil War. Really? Oh, my God. Crazy. Crazy, yeah. Arsio 2 says, Nah, I'm not saying to look at Lewis Potter. I'm saying that we had a bid rejected for him, but what about Gordon development? Did we have a bid rejected for him, though? No, really? Did we really have a bid I've, rejected no, I, for I him? I don't think so. I don't know why Everton would be looking at him. And in terms of Gordon development, yeah, right now we need to focus on other, other places. But Gordon's... The thing with Gordon is right. We want him to get better and and be being in around the first team, but he should have. We should have better anyway. Like look at the likes with Luis Diaz when we were so close to have him. We could we can have a player that good and Gordon can still develop. Gordon just shouldn't be in the first team because we want him to develop. We need better now, and Gordon can still be involved in the first team and it it will push him to get better. Because if Gordon's just in the first team and that's how it is when I'm going to replace him, then. Is he going to get better? Are we ever going to get better? That's the way I look at it anyway. Uh, and I'm not saying Lewis Potter is better than Gordon or, or should be uh, looked at. Because in my opinion, I think we, I agree. I think we have other places, other areas in the squad to look at. Brian Murray says, a streetwise centre-half would really bring on Godfrey. Yeah. Failing that, keep me in it and somehow managing fitness-wise. You can't manage it. You can't manage him so he plays 30-odd games a season. Not when he's just had a season where he played 11 or whatever he played. Um... Yeah, we we need to go and get someone who's, who's. You look at Tarkovsky in the last three or four seasons, he missed like eight games, which on average is 35, 36 games a season. Which is what we need. Lee Thais Dar says, flying out to Greece tomorrow from Manchester. Hopefully the queues aren't as bad as what I've been seeing on Twitter. It's been absolute bedlam there. Mm. Mm. Well, it has been. Let's go to YouTube. Absolute bedlam. Kevin Kraft said Ned fell straight into that one. I'm not sure what, he's, what you're on about. Um, Ned few people, few people saying Alice, Alice Springs. I'm proud, quite proud of that one. <laughs> Gary Smith says Surfers Paradise. Oz for the Celebrity Get Me Out. Uh, stinking Anfield TV show. I've no idea what that means. Um, Rachel says he has, has a brother and sister living in Perth, being three times. Beautiful country. I'd love to go to Australia. Go then. Go instead of going to America. No, I want to go to America as well. We should go to Australia next. Daisy says, bottom left, Ned. It's the most isolated capital in the world. Ned, where is Ularu? It's a big monolith. <coughs> no idea. Lee Tai Star says, Ned, I'm a celeb. I'm a celeb is filmed in a place called Dungay. In NSW. Mm. New South Wales. Oh yeah, I thought it was filmed in Australia. <laughs> I know the last couple have been in Wales. Yeah, New South Wales. Uh, you went, didn't you? Or did Baz go? 
to the castle. I've never I've drove past the castle loads of times. Brian Murray says one good thing about this definite witch hunt is it will continue to see this siege mentality. We have seen Frank and the Chelsea dugout not backing down to Klopp, so he's made of stern stuff. This cotton is going on me. Yeah, I remember that when uh, he was like, oh, you've won one trophy and now you're giving it the big one. That was amazing. Our show too. Um, I said someone on Twitter said we had a bit rejected. If it's not true, it would be his first big, big news you've got wrong. Would they? Would they? N- nah, that's would not. Pl- plenty. Just, just like other journals. I do quick refresh. Martin Armstrong says, I've I've read Big Dunk being linked with the vacant Blackburn job. You guys know anything? Not even been messaged about it. He doesn't even know about it. Not even heard about it. So, it's rubbish. Just journals. Journals who know less than my big toe. Garth Hughes says, one, Atletico Madrid. Mm. Two, Karen Seedorf. Three, Bayern Munich, Borussia Br- Br- Dortmund and Hamburg. Four, Samuel Leto. And five, Yugoslavia. So, the only one we, you got wrong was the one you answered. Number one. Yeah. I just guessed. I said Bill Bow. Mm, disappointing. Yeah, um, go to YouTube. Disappointing. Steve says this won't be popular, but I don't just rate Godfrey at all as centre back. I don't see him as anything more than a utility player. Hope I'm wrong, but I don't think I'm, we need to bring him to, though. Godfrey's a. He's not a natural defender with like a centre back's instincts. He doesn't sniff out, you know, uh, danger. But he's the player that way. When you've got a player like that, like your big Alfred, he's the player who who accommodates them. He, he's 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 mobile. He's very fast. He's very pacey, and like he loves a country and tackle. And he, he's a good. He's a okay defender, but it's, it's his body that like it's that attributes attributes in his body that that makes him a good player to play next to like like a Yerry Mina. We've seen many times Yerry Mina's gone a bit, you know, stepped out of the back line and got caught in. In, like, in, in the midfield and he's not got the pace to chase back but Godfrey's got that recovery pace to be able to facilitate another centre back like that so Godfrey would next, Godfrey's got someone who can talk to him and command him tell him where he should be um, and you know when, you to, when to press when line, to draw you need someone like Godfrey yeah you need that pace in and be. Oh, that was like when you know, when obviously Jaggy Elka started playing under the more he's had that pace so it means we could play a higher line and we didn't have to play uh, a holding midfielder sat, sat in front of them all the time and it meant we could have a Someone higher up the pitch. Um, Cameron says Godfrey is good for his age. Mm, yeah, I suppose so. I'm pray. I'm just praying that we finally realise how unbelievably slow this team is, and actually buy a player with real pace who can leave people for dead. There's so many of them out there. We just look. Yeah, I suppose finding ones with end product as well is the important thing. But if you look at our squad, it, it is lack of, you know, a lot of physicality and mobility. We seem to get like legs by every team we play, especially certainly when we try to outplay them. Mm. So yeah, that is important. Yeah, we, we're we're in desperate need of uh, some pace, um, some some strength, and yeah, that's what that's the that's the model, isn't it? Ben Godfrey is the model of a of a modern prof- professional footballer. You get two or three of those in your in your team, and you can build it out from that. Kevin Kraft says, "Richarlison is n- is not going anywhere." Yeah, I'm not. Fair I'm not 100 percent sure about that, but we'll have to wait and see. Got a this decisions have to be made. Lee Times Star says Ned, the journals know nothing, Lamb. I don't. Journals these days just copy off each other, and you see how many times journals say something and it and it's wrong, and then nobody talks about it. As soon as they say one thing right, just because they've heard it from another journal, everyone jumps on them like they're this mm. this god. Then it with um, it was, I think it was Romano last year. You know, no Esperanto, Esperito Santos about to be announced Everton manager, was he? Doughty says, Ned, where is New South Wales again? I think I heard Wales. Yeah, I, I suppose it is. <laughs> don't know why you're asking me. <laughs> <laughs> That's you finding things on the map, like Doctor Strange. Thanks. <laughs> Have you watched Doctor Strange 2, by the way? Of course, I've watched Doctor Strange 2. I went, the, went like the first night. Yeah, it was so interesting. Was it? It was just. You know what it reminded me of? What? Terminator. Oh yeah. It's just a. Co- it's just like a constant chase. There was yeah. no like steady down. It's constantly you chasing chased someone. Like just steady down. There's just no. There's, there's. It was very. It was very full on, wasn't it? What did you think of the cameos? 
good. I was, it, it was it was just showing how like powerful you know mm. said person is. Said person, bit of a shock. It makes it yeah. It does make it interesting. Who we'll see in the future? Yeah, um, bit of a shock. Wanderlust says pace is a good general goal. Well, yeah, especially in this league, I think people underestimate. We've seen like players like um, Andre Gomez. Technically, he's probably a, a great footballer, but he's he's just got nothing to offer in, in this mm. league. Dexy says, "Ped, how do you cope without Baz?" I gotta ask: Is Ned playing the game or is it real? I didn't know there was a game. It's a hundred percent real. Martin Armstrong says, "Ned, why do you constantly shake your right leg while reading out comments?" Just, I just like to keep up a beat. <laughs> I just like to shape my leg. Just an innocent man. I'm, I'm just an innocent man. I'm not allowed to shape me, shape me, <laughs> shape me leg. Cameron say head said. Cameron Hay said. You said, Doctor Strange two was poo. Ned, my first initial thoughts when it came out, it, it was poo. But having, having thought about it, I, it was, I just, I still don't know how to feel about it because, I also heard that Wanda's got a, a well, Elizabeth Olsen's got a new seven year contract with Marvel, which makes me feel like. <coughs> Maybe they're going in a different direction with the characters to what I thought that happened in the film. No spoilers. There you go. But also, I was disappointed that some answers weren't, some questions weren't answered, which I thought they would be. Tommy says, "Are we still in for a chance with Brennan Johnson now that Forest are up?" Um, I don't think so. I was hoping that we'd be able to get Warren Johnson, but I think they'll keep hold of him now they're coming up. Um, Jed Spence maybe he'll, he'll, he'll be, he probably will get his Premier League move whether he'll be interested I don't know um, but he's going back to back to Middlesbrough I think isn't he he was only on loan so I'm, I imagine he'll get his Premier League move whether he'll be interested I don't know I've seen some people saying that they would have a look at him Roy said if Pickford goes I think he'll be the I think the lad Man City Gavin Bazunu is the best young keeper I've seen going go to the very top They've, oh yeah we, we've linked with him a while ago weren't we who's that the Irish lad yeah yeah, Paul was telling us about him from Irish fan, fo- fan yeah. fa- fo- Irish football fan TV. He was telling us about him ages ago, saying he's brilliant, um, and Everton should go for him if Pickford, if Pickford uh, is going to leave somewhere, should definitely should go for him. Yeah, I don't, I can't see Pickford. Maybe should go for him anyway, but I, I can't see Pickford going to be honest. I, I just don't see what the market is. <laughs> Excuse me for Pickford. I don't see where the market is. I don't, I don't. I know people mentioned Tottenham, but they've just brought in. A goalkeeper and they just give Larissa a new contract. So mm-hmm. I, I just don't see where the market would be for Pickford. I really don't. Can't, I just don't see who'd come in for him. Danny says, I'm not convinced by Godfrey. Don't see that instinct that good defenders have. <coughs> yeah, but there's also a lot of there's also a lot of play, players who play in the Premier League who aren't good defenders. They're just fast and the, the speed gets them out of trouble. Uh, and and if you put them next to a good solid defender, they can um, they can get through games. They can learn. They can they can um, share that experience. And and ultimately, where we are at the moment, beggars cannot be choosers. It's as simple as that. He plays for us. We paid decent money for him two years ago. And if you put him next to a good wise head, I think you'll get a lot more out of him. JW says, is the sponsor being revealed tomorrow? Mm, why? What makes you think that? Um, T Football says, what do you think of Everton going in for Lewandowski? Yeah, I, I think I, it's definitely realistic. You know, being only 16th in the league, we have to look at realistic options. So, players like Lewandowski, Messi, Ronaldo, yeah. you know, that's what we have to be looking at. I think you know, so. we're just not in the market for players like. You know, plays like Ivan Tony, so Lemodowski is a much more realistic yeah, shout. I think so. Wanderlust says pace and positional awareness. If you don't have one, you need the other. Yeah, exactly. And that's you know, you want centre back partnerships that complement each other, especially you know, if you're talking like an old fashioned partnership, you'd have to you know, the alpha, you know, big aerial uh, you know, dominant in the air and then you have the one that's got the recovery pace, physical and uh, Godfrey's obviously he's 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 not like he's an awful defender. He's a he's an okay defender, okay defensively, uh, and his he's pace terrible. makes he's, him the he, player he's he is. Not, he needs to get much better in the air. If I, if there's one thing, yeah, that's, that's that's not good. That he's true. not he's not great in the air. He needs mm. to get better at that. So, um, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, I don't think. I think it's more about. I think it's more about getting rid of the players that are not needed. 
and bringing in the uh, better, better. Because think about this: some of it is we can have a, we can, we can get rid. We've got, we can get rid of a few, and bring in players who actually play. That's the difference. We're getting rid of, we're getting rid of four or five players who don't play, and if we can bring two or three in who do play, then straight away, you can use that wages. You know, there's 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 four or five there that are going to go out the door straight away without them being even without even a worry. Even players we don't, people we're not even that bothered about. So we can get four or five out six out this summer without having to worry about it, worry about it. We replace them with a couple of free transfers for players who play all the time. Then straight away, I think mm. we're doing better. It's it's when we get to the other end. It's when we get to the Richarlsons and the Dominic Cavaloons of it all. That's when the the situation's going to become interesting. JW says new kit being revealed Monday. Is it? I mean, again, I mean, that's you just. Are you just saying that, or do you actually know that? Because there's a difference. Arsenal too said Ned is replacing Baz like Tolson replacing Lukaku. I've got a great set of her. I think I'd have you know. And I mean, and Baz are very alike, actually. So I don't think that's you're almost true like clones. Aren't we you? are literally clones. It's like the Clone Wars. Yeah. Me and Baz are clones. Yeah, I think so. Gray says, what do you reckon reports on Gabamin being a bit of a knobhead going out partying in Russia? Apparently he's got a previous. I've, I've mm. not seen anything about it. Mm. Uh, Steve says, Ped, what do you reckon on Cal- Calvin Bassey from Rangers? We shall be all over him. He's, he's tailor-made for this league. Clubs will be circling around him this summer. Proper unit left-footed as well. Yeah, he'll probably go to Villa. Do you think, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, he's a good player. Good player. He's got great a great uh, move when he went to Rangers for Rangers. Obviously, got went to the cup final with them, the Europa League cup final. Again, got everything. Got everything. I don't know if we. This is the thing, though. But I don't think he necessarily suits what we need right now. I think we need. We need the. We need an exper- bit of a, more experience, a mm. bit more of a command and player. I just don't think we're in the position to be looking at players that we don't really need. I think the players we're going to bring in are players that are we absolutely hundred percent need. It's that's it's. You'd love to go. How oh, we're going to get him because he's a good player. It's this summer's going to be about what we need exactly, and there'll be no there'll be no frills about it at all. You know, if there's a hot new winger on, you know, out there who's like twenty million, twenty five million, if we don't need them, we're not going to buy him because we're only going to go after players we actually need. You know, maybe if 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 we sell some, then we might suddenly need that kind of player. But I think at the moment it's centre midfield, centre back. Yeah, David Sullivan says, Godfrey is a good tackler and has great pace, which we lack in, but is weak in the air. Needs to improve his heading. Yeah. T Football says we need to be looking at free transfer options. Um, yeah. I won't just look at players just because they're f- just because they're free. Like, there's players out there like Isco who've been linked before. It, it wouldn't suit us, but like 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 we said before, Tarkowski, Tark- 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 who is free, mm. um, makes perfect sense. And the only and the fact that he's free makes it a more sensible option. Mm. Uh, Aiden says, speaking of Clone Wars, you lads seen Obi Wan Kenobi. Yep, yeah, and it's unbelievable. Well, no, you haven't because there's a new episode <coughs> today. So today, I thought it was Friday. No. Oh, I can't wait for it. <laughs> well, clearly you were gonna wait for it. Have you watched it? No. I watch it when I get in. How exciting! I've seen. Um, You're doing a gig tonight. You can't watch it. I, I get. I, I, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll squeeze it in. I'll put it on while I'm playing. What's the point in that? I seen some. Um, I seen some hate that the, the third oh, sisters, yeah. the actor who played racist, Moses. That's no, not hate. It's racist yeah, abuse. Yeah, awful. Racist abuse, disgusting. I, th- I thought she's, I think she's a great character. Mm-hmm. Plays a very good antagonist. Uh, Otter says, "What should we do about Holgate?" Personally, I want him to stick around. I think he looks a lot better. I think. I think. I think for someone like Holgate, I think it's a wait, wait and see. I think. It, don't forget, right? Evan have got to get offers for these players. Mm. If Evan got a good offer for Mason Allgates, I think they'd sell him. Yeah. But they've got to get a good offer for him. But same, same with every player. It's like, you know, it'd be dead easy to sit here and go, Jordan Pickford, sell him. You could get fifty million for him. Yeah. He could replace him no problem. Blah blah blah. Who's paying the money? Mm. Where's the market for him? 
Show me the market for him. I don't think there is one. I honestly think there's only one team in the UK, in England, sorry, right now, who could afford them, and there might be a chance of, and there might be a a thing there. And I, and I tell you that is that's the only team is Manchester United. Yeah, I was gonna guess. There's only one because mm. David de Gea might go. Oh, you know what? I fancy going to Spain. Back to Spain. They're the only team I think right now who might who might look at them. But I and I, and that's only like a. That's only on an out from the outside. That's only like going. They might if this, this, and this happened. But I, I don't see the market for them. So someone like Holgate, you need bids. If Evan get bids for players, then they'll start looking and going. Mm, we might be willing to take fifteen million for him or or ten million for him. But Evan are already. I mean, Evan have got. Evan have got. Uh, uh, Delph could be going. Again, Everton, I imagine they'll be looking at this week and probably toshin has gone. John Joe could go. Obviously, he's out of contract. Sigurdsson's gone. Um, you know, they'll be looking to get rid of Andre Gomez as well. You've got, and then you've got, then you, then you've got, to, then you've got Townsend who's out out till Christmas at least, and then you've got. Um, then you've got the other ones who's you know the 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 you know Allen. I know he said he want he's he's staying, but is he really staying? If Everton got a good offer for Allen in his last mm. year, would you take it? Everton, there's a lot, there's a lot to juggle at Everton. This is where, as I said, there's no margin for error because of our um, FFP situation. So um, we'll we'll have to you know that that's what they'll have to get right because if they if they if they get an offer and. They refuse it, and then something comes up where they could go and get someone better, or they could they could sell someone, and then there'll be no then 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 they can't find any they can't find anyone to buy with the money. They've got to get it all balanced co- properly. Mm. Peter Finn says, "Did you know Laurie's brother plays for AG Oxer?" I did no. not know that. Gareth Hughes says, "When there's no adults in the room, I buzz every show descending to AOB." I very I Gareth, I I I I find that a very negative comment. I think we are, we have our, our own kind of structure. We are answering the questions as they come in. AOB is miles better yeah. than than just there's no just there's not well. there's not a lot of footy to talk about. Is there? We're getting you know we're getting getting a solid hour of entertainment out of this. Uh, sometimes it goes into areas of other other aspects, non football. Only, only but, on but Patreon. that's because people like that. That's because people like that. Um, so you know, I, I'm disappointed in you to be honest, mate. Steve says. I don't think Gabami would ever come good. I was watching him in Russia, and he's very lazy. He doesn't like to run; just strolls around no, the pitch. He's, 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 he's done. He's done. Gabaman's done. Yeah, Gabaman is absolutely done. Should have gone and got Sangari. Your face should have got Sangari. What is that supposed to mean? If anyone needs a bit of Sangari, yeah. Choose your next words carefully. It's Everton. <laughs> Paul Butler says, "All right, boys. What is the score in terms of?" Um, uh, I, I, don't know, mm, I don't know if we can talk about he's this. Out of contract, he's, yeah, he's gone. Out of contract, he's gone. He went ages ago. He went ages ago. He's out of contract and he's gone. He went ages ago. He hasn't been an Everton play for months. Mm. Truth be told. Do we get refresh on Patreon? Asio 2 says, you lads watching Zinchenko, Mikolenko and po- possibly Patterson tonight in the Ukraine Patterson's versus Scotland no, qualifier. Patterson's, yeah. not, Patterson's injured. I, I won't be. I'm, I, I'm I will, because so. it's a big game, isn't it? It's a one-off game. It's a one-off cup final kind of game. So, I'll be watching. Do you want to hear a really weird story? If it's on my AOB, do you want to hear a really weird story, right? Scory. Scory, yeah. The, a, guy the in Flo- a guy in America, right, uh, died by the hands of a a gator because basically there's a fr- frisbee golf course and around it is a, there's a there's a pool full of gators and you're not to, you know obviously you don't go in there but the guy was uh either homeless or something and he was trying to retrieve frisbees and apparently if you get so many frisbees and take them back you get like five dollars a frisbee or something and when he went in the water the, the gators got him it's awful. Great story, Mark. <laughs> I was telling you. Great story, Mark. Nose. Really annoying. 
Sometimes get him inside, you know. Yeah, it's there, it's there, it's annoying. Uh, yeah, the Gators got him. See, he's no more. If he just went and said, There's "What would he say? What would he say? What, how old of, is the Gator?" There's a lot of frisbees in this pond. Yeah, I need these frisbees. Yeah, who's he talking to? Um, someone in the office. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, and and said. But there's gators in there. Can you get rid of the gators? Yeah. And I'll get the frisbees yeah. for you. And they were like, yes. How would they get rid of the gators? Just go, shoo. Yeah. Shoo. Yeah. Shoo. Do you think that works with wild gators? Probably not. No, I, I, I don't think it does. I don't think shooing gators works. Just going to see you later, alligator. <laughs> I always wanted to go to... Um, which is a shame that we're not going to Florida this year because we could have gone. We wouldn't have gone. Gatorland. No, we wouldn't have gone. Why? Because we wouldn't have gone. It looks amazing. It doesn't. You can f- swim Why? with gators. You can't <laughs> swim You can't swim with you gators. You can go in a, a boat Yeah. with gators around the boat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure you can. Are you pretty sure? Can't you go in a boat with gators around? No, the, why the would you? Why, if it's Gatorland, would you go in a boat? I've seen I see s- what go- Gatorland is. It's drugged up gators with... Fat tourists get pictures with them while they're for their own amusement. Do you reckon they serve gator in the restaurants? Why would they? They'd be serving their own um, things that they that <laughs> pe- for people to come and see. Matty Boo says, I have to admit, I had a chuckle at Ten Hag's comments about ending an era. Yeah, he'll finally end United. <sighs> Gray says, Up the TV and film, etc. Media long toffees. Dexy says, Hey guys, I'm enjoying the entertainment. It's different, sure, but I'm loving the company each team time. There you go. For me, you light up my full curl. You light up my life. Logan says, "How do I call in?" Well, we're not doing the club call today, but yeah, next week. Yeah, the, the, you call in through Patreon. You have to be a patron to call up. Yeah. So you have to be a patron. Um, Cameron says, "says that's the Everglades, Ned." Oh yeah. I think my dad told me about that actually once. <laughs> uh, Gary Smith says, play FIFA 2, I'll be waiting in anticipation. Well, if you go on Patreon and scroll down to yesterday, there's a FIFA 22 video up and there'll be a FIFA oh 22 God. video up also Ugh. soon. Isn't it weird? Because it's like, like, it's the last, it's like Friday today, isn't it? Basically, yeah, because it's four day weekend, isn't it? Mm. Technically. Oh, is it bank holiday Monday on Monday, or is it just for Thursday and Friday? Do you know? Yes. Is it bank holiday Monday on Monday? Why would it be bank holiday Monday on Monday? I have no idea, because we've got bank holiday Thursday, which is I didn't even know was a thing. <laughs> Mind-blowing. I was thinking, because I've never done a... Don't like jam nights on Wednesdays. Oh yeah. I've never done a proper gig on a Wednesday. I don't oh, yeah. think. So I'm like, I hope it's not like dead in the pub. Well, yeah, but but then Friday. again, if everyone's off tomorrow, it's Friday. Today yeah. is Friday. And and not like everyone's knackered after a five day no, week. It's only I, been a three day it's week. Been a three. It, it, today's Friday. JW says, anyone get anyone else get goosebumps when Lampard g- gave the speech about Coleman in the dressing room? Yeah, it was amazing. It was unbelievable. It wasn't bad. It's so wholesome. The wholesome thing clip was when he said uh, oh, your dad's the best man I've ever met that was so the type of person Coleman is he really is a nice guy um, do a quick refresh go on and Gray says uh, yeah, he's, he's already put that comment before there's all the comments on Patreon there you go right we are gonna go uh, technically it's Wednesday but it's sort of like Friday in the UK because we're getting two bank holidays because the Queen's Old. Still here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> oh, well done for... <laughs> oh, well done for just, like, sticking around. Well done for that. staying. Uh, no, she's all right, the Queen. I mean, yeah. it's her sons you've got to worry about. Yeah. Um, yeah. They are the there you go. Uh, patrons, there'll be no shows tomorrow or, fr- or Friday. But look out... Uh, no live shows, but do look out for the second part of... Ned versus Page, and hopefully on Friday, on Patreon, our documentary about the season will be out. Um, hopefully, if if Ned Ned can get it, I'm not putting any pressure on him because he's worked really hard on this. Be um, a little, be a little trailer out. Hopefully, yeah. if not tonight, I'm gonna try and get it done. Say, say Page, so, I've got time for my gig. Yeah. So, 
there you go also the footy show will be out in a minute so we'll make sure you check that out well it's the premier league show with me and me and ned so make sure you give that a watch as well where we have a chat about the best signings the worst signings and the most overrated signings of the season in the premier league so there you go have a good weekend enjoy it whatever you're doing whether you're just happy to have a bank holiday or whether you are celebrating the jubilee whichever one it's fine it's fine just make sure if you go anywhere you leave a tip there you go see you later